Um, so today what I'm doing is putting together our company rates for next year. I have my checklist here as well, my to-do list. Um, I need to do our year-end report, I need to do 2023 to 2024 rates for the company. And then I need to do a header for YouTube. So... Yeah, um, prices are also going up. So, like, our YouTube has doubled in over fifty percent. But I must check the numbers properly since we put together our rate card, which I'm really happy about. Um, I've got the YouTube my year in review. Let me just take a look at it. But, um, this is just an invite from YouTube for a reminder. I don't know if you guys can see it for tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be exciting. Um, okay, so where is this thing now? Where is it? YouTube creators. My interview. Okay, here it is. So this is Bad Media Group. Bad Media Group, your 22 year in review is here. And we got 274,000.9, thousand total views this year alone. And it's not even over because, like, it's December, right? Our watch time was 106k minutes. Total likes with 10.1 thousand. Got 405 new subscribers. So that's double the amount. I think when we started the year, we had like 300 or 400 subscribers. So this is quite a lot. And the month with the most views was July. Our top viewed videos of the year were um, Nicki Minaj and Beyonce at Coachella. I I know I have quite a few barbs on here i'm a barb myself which is why i post a lot of uh Nicki minaj based content i know that when i was starting a youtube channel for my for my company you know that media group this digital marketing agency my sister was like on a, on youtube people are really into um into like entertainment they're really into like um you know pop culture and stuff like that so the first thing that like when i think of pop culture i think of the big three so that's like Nicki Minaj, beyonce rihanna but then rihanna went into hiding and beyonce isn't so transparent with her personal life but i know that one thing about onika tanya mirage is that she is always a trending topic and i was like you know as a media company i don't want to go and post things from a biased uh, perspective because myself in my personal capacity i'm a barb right however they have like since 2018 up until now i think like truths have revealed themselves in terms of the way that certain female rappers have sabotaged nikki's career or have painted and tainted her in a bad light to the point where now those very same female rappers are like coming out now and being like ah Nick is a queen of rap she's done this and this for rap we love her whereas that was that wasn't always the the tune that they were singing to right um so yeah so a lot okay so my top viewed videos when Nicki Minaj and Beyonce Coachella Nicki Minaj at Wireless Festival a 22, 2022 compilation and the compilation of Lotto's leaked reference tracks okay we uploaded about 58 uh, YouTube shorts and the total views with our YouTube shorts is 184,000.4 wait 184.4 thousand total views total youtube shorts views so 
our channels actually has like transformed into becoming basically a short content uh, form channel um, I don't know why our subscribers seem to like really really like and watch short content even though most of the people who watch our videos aren't even subscribed to our channel so that's like a gap in the market to like kind of convert you guys to like you know come through and subscribe like comment all of that um so um yeah so we're gonna be doing a lot of short content next year um we've just signed someone to our agency uh, who's a south african influencer but we'll do like an introduction video of him um in january i just want you guys to get familiar with the brand but if you watch our shorts on here then you'll definitely what is this honey what is this cha it's like a sticker the office is a mess um you'll definitely get to know him and who he is and what he's about he's this really really fantastic fashion entrepreneur and he's the next big thing in south africa trust me i'm a trend um I'm a trans forecaster um, so I, if I say something is about to be hot you know it's about to be hot okay let's go through it okay our top viewed shorts of the year well obviously Nicki Minaj walking the streets of London like I feel like the Queen had such a great year this year guys I'm obsessed with only Katanya like the Queen had such a great year this year um, and now she's gone back into hiding but us bobs are waiting for nm5 and we're waiting for the documentary with hbo um i believe more truths will definitely be revealed then uh the second top view shorts was Janae aiko awkwardly kicks big show off of her live i don't know why that just randomly started trending and then beyonce and jay-z crazy in love their live performance 2003 so funnily enough a lot of the videos that are like trending now i probably uploaded them like years ago and they were short form content before like short form content like before tiktok right before short form content was called short form video content and then i guess when youtube started launching their shorts they like converted it into a shorts instead of it being like a normal video so even when you watch it like the ratio of those videos is like either one by one or 16 by 9 instead of 9 by 16 okay so my top countries viewing my channel are United States which is so interesting to me because I'm South African but I think because majority of the content that I post on this channel is about American pop culture because that's what I can relate to the most, you know? Um, United Kingdom is second and in last place would be South Africa, our land. <clears throat> and then it says you reach final boss status. Okay, so our total live stream minutes were 830. Our total live stream views were 1,641. And the most streamed uh, live stream was my live in there, the birthday special. Which is really interesting to me because I wonder how they count this as a live. I think if you schedule something and then you make it a premiere, it counts as a live stream. Even though it's not necessarily live, but you do have a live audience watching pre-edited content. Instead of like me speaking in real time. Um... And yeah, so I just want to thank you guys for contributing to my year on YouTube. You know, you gave me a total of 10.1 thousand likes. And the total minutes you watched on my channel is 106,000. Um, we're this close to monetization. We are so close to monetization. So, <sighs> just need to be steady. Just need to be steady. Need to be steady. Need to be steady. But anyways yeah let's get into my workout I'll show you guys my necklace which i love so much it's real and so let me just show you guys what i'm up to so right now you know before we even why is it 2024 when i mean 2023 before we even like you know log off officially we have to do our year end um views and we also have to 
you know, basically introduce our new services for next gen, stuff like that. So the prices are definitely going up. I also just want to rebrand the company profile and stuff. Oh, I'm so stressed, guys. Like, if I could, like, I would have a holiday. I'm definitely grinding harder for next year. Let me actually price an Instagram filter is now 65,000. Okay. So, design and creation will be f um, 50. Maintenance will be 15. Okay. I actually need to see how many impressions this filter has. It has quite a lot. I think last time when I checked, it had like 8,000 opens or 8,000 uses. But I did this filter like two years ago on Spark AR. So, yeah. Meta, I think I'm going to include Twitter. I took Twitter out uh, because, you know, it wasn't the vibe anymore. But now it's like, hmm, maybe included and stuff. Um, and yeah. I'm gonna read you guys the Spotify wrapped. So if you guys know, I mean, if you've been watching my live since late, you know that I rap on the side. So my DJ and rapping name is Sauce Baby. So now I'm gonna look at my Spotify wrapped. I started my rap career probably in 2020 officially. Dropped two songs in 2020. I think it's because we have the luxury of time 2020. 2021 I dropped one song was supposed to drop my EP and then I got pregnant so I put that on hold um, and wanted to focus more on the business side of me but I think next year I'm focusing more on me as the creative it's my last year being my 20s next year so I think next year I just want to make every month count towards creativity like every day I must be shooting content or something that's the goal for next year. I think I've, I've had a creative lull, um, thinking that the corporate route was for me, but now as I reflect, like I think I bloom more and I, I, I get more traction. I actually start getting paid more when I follow my creative route as opposed to when I am pursuing corporate i don't think it's for me i don't okay so and then this year um after i gave birth i think i dropped late at night late at night i got the beat like two years ago yeah i got the beat in 2020 and then i wrote the lyrics um from 2020 to 2021 i kept switching the song and stuff like that um, because it was like about a dude at the time who I talk about a lot in here who was putting me through the most in our relationship and then after this I released um, I released the track but you, the funnily enough when I released the song I think I released the song like June which was like a year which would account for as like a year after our breakup Funny enough, when I dropped that song, he actually ended up listening to it. Like, he was like the first person to listen to it. Which I don't know how, because he doesn't have my number or anything. Like, I think he just got access to it from stalking my Twitter profiles. Because, like, you know, on Spotify for Artists, you can see analytics. Then I said, someone between the ages of like 50 to 60, based in Uganda, Kampala, Uganda, was listening to the song. That's when I knew it was him that's where he's based and that's his age and I was like oh, weird but um yeah so let's listen let's see what my Spotify wrapped for the year was for soft baby okay let's jump in <clears throat> okay it says in 2022 you did your thing. So everything I read, I'm just going to put it on the screen here. Turn to two, you did your thing. People loved it. I wonder if there's sound for this. I had eight, li eight listeners stream your music 332 times. I think the most listeners I've ever had is probably like 15. 
um i'm not part of like i don't have streaming farms or anything like that i don't buy my streams it's all of their tech and stuff like that and i'm doing it by myself i do it for fun I do music for fun so i had eight listeners stream my music things with 32 times mm. um and then you guys listen for 854 minutes 14 hours 0.6 days 0.1 weeks. This isn't bad for someone who only has four songs. Okay. Your listeners like to keep your music close. You guys saved my songs three times. <laughs> I love this rap because it's like the worst performing rap ever. It's just like this year I wasn't focusing on music at all. I was so tired. Okay. My top track late at night was played over and over again 149 times. Um, okay, and this is your music loves to travel. Let's see where it traveled to. So, oh, yeah, it was so funny because this year, like, I think my music was heard in like different countries as opposed to when I first started. So, it was heard in South Africa, obviously, Mexico. United nice States. Mexico was interesting. I've never had that demographic before. United States, Netherlands, Italy. Okay. 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 My music was shared 66 times. 57% on Instagram. That's probably me. 31% direct links. 6% Twitter. 4%. Snapchat and 2% other. I wonder what the 2% other is. I wonder if it's like WhatsApp or something. Okay. Um, actually, Late at Night is the song that that plays on the intro for my live in there. So, Lux that I released in June 2021. Oh, the, when I dropped the song, I was supposed to shoot a music video, but then I was going through a breakup and then I just stopped. Like, I just dropped the song and I left it. Um, but it was paid six, seven times this year. Okay, I still don't get what canvases are for Spotify, but thanks for watching. What else? Okay, this is added you to seven playlists this year, which is a lot because I actually don't ever get added to playlists so that must have been like authentic and i have my own radio my own spotify radio artist spotify radio now so that means i've like released enough songs so i mean that's 270 percent playlist ads and 16 percent followers okay just getting a message from the client and yeah that's my spotify wrap for 2022 thank you for supporting the kid guys next year i think i think i'll drop my ep finally like it's been like long overdue it's just life has been happening but i feel like life will always continue to happen so yeah then i think that's all today for my live in there thank you so much for tuning in and yeah don't forget to like and to subscribe Mwah.